Hi guys, John here, Common Sense Outdoors. So today I wanted to talk a little more about the items that I have in this hunting fishing license pouch. I showed them in a video the other day making fire with the aluminum can. I had a few questions particularly concerning the steel wool. Uh, what what use is that steel wool is obviously I can affect fire with making uh, polishing the bottom of a can as I showed you the other day that steel wool I can affect fire in three different ways uh, the hacksaw blade just uh, about a three inch piece of hacksaw blade one that I was using and it broke. Uh, I can use the saw teeth to notch sticks for traps if I need to. I've run the back of it across the grinder, take the paint off and give it a good uh, 90 degree edge. I've done a video in the past showing how to make fire with uh, this and a it, finding a piece of quartz. So that's another way to affect fire obviously a, a Fresno lens I can affect fire and char cloth comes in handy on almost all those methods so I can affect being able to make fire in five different ways with these four little items that are put into that I'm going to tip the camera down and show you some of the ways we can do that Obviously, one everybody's probably already seen and know. And again, this is quadruple lot steel wool, which, if you're not familiar with steel wool, it refers to the coarseness of it. It's a very fine steel wool. Uh, quadruple lot, it has a number symbol and four zeros. For the younger generation, I think that would be hashtag four zeros. But at any rate, the steel wool is fine enough. Oh, the wind's going to pick up and blow my all my goodies away here. It's fine enough to catch sparks from a ferro rod. So if you had marginal tender and you needed something that would catch the sparks, that would help you get your marginal tender going. You just strike your sparks from the ferro rod onto that steel wool. Just like that. Ooh, hot. Next one everybody probably already knows is a 9 volt battery. You just touch the two leads, positive and negative leads, right on the top. That's why a 9 volt battery is so easy. Uh, plus it's 9 volts, which is much more than you need to do this. Now, I'm going to show three different kinds of batteries, and all three of them are something that you may have with you. This 9 volt batteries are getting rarer as far as things that use them, but uh, walkie talkie or two way radio, a lot of those use a 9 volt battery. So it's possible that it's something that you have with you. So just by touching the two, the two leads. You get enough ember on that steel wool to blow your marginal tender or your tender into flame. Now what other batteries can I do this with that I might have with me? If I take two little pieces and twist it up, kind of like it, like making a wire out of it, on one of them, I want to leave the end fluffed out. On the other one, 
I don't need to leave anything fluffed out. Just twist it up nice and tight. Two AA batteries, 1.5 volts each, so this is only 3 volts. Uh, this is something that you would probably maybe have with you. A small flashlight, two double A's. Uh, my camera actually runs off two double A's, which is nice and one of the reasons I'm kind of reluctant to get a new camera because it's hard to find cameras that uh, run off of these. So I can put a package of these in my pack, go out in the woods for however long and not have to worry about my battery dying in my camera. I can just throw in new ones. But if we take, make sure you have a good view there. Yep, you're right. Take the two batteries, put them in line. Take one end, your middle finger, hold that to the bottom. Well, put your index finger in the middle. Your middle finger, hold that piece to the bottom. Your thumb, I didn't make my steel wool long enough. Let me try that again. two together, spin them together. Hopefully I get enough contact through that. Okay, back to where I was. Hold the two batteries in the middle. Your middle finger, hold that to the bottom of your batteries. Your thumb. Now you have the two batteries in line and your two leads of steel wool. Oops. Yeah, talking like it's all easy. Okay, now you just have to be able to get your two ends to touch. Hope you can see that. Then you just toss that in your nest and blow it into a flame. And the third battery I'm going to show you. We're going to do the same thing. And leave the end fluffed out a little bit. And just spin up the rest of it. that fluff a little bit because I have a small contact I'm going to try to touch it on and the third battery I'm going to show you is something that almost everybody has with them these days that's just a cell phone battery if you take your battery out there'll be two two little spots well you're going to be able to see that it'll it'll show you the positive and negative leads there's actually four spots but you have two of them that are your positive and negative leads and you can use char cloth in conjunction with this once I get an ember on my steel wool I can transfer that ember to my char cloth to make sure I'm going to have something that will blow into a flame. But if I hold the end of my 
twisted up steel wool onto one of the contacts and just turn it back around and touch it to the other. And this one is one of those deals where it's so fine. That's why I want to try to transfer it to the char cloth. I lost it. I'm going to try something here that I haven't done before. I'm going to try to put the char cloth right next to trouble. Let's try it again. Come on, baby. Catch. Well, it wouldn't be one of my normal videos if I didn't struggle with something, I guess. should have had it that time. There we go. There's fire, three different batteries, including the cell phone. So, moral of the story, if you have the little uh, if 
you already have the license pouch for your fishing license or hunting license, put those four little items into it. You won't even know they're there in your wallet. Like I say, you'll be able to affect five different ways to help you make fire. Alright guys, hope you like it. Sorry I struggled with the cell phone battery there a little bit. Uh, and I don't know if I mentioned a cell phone, my cell phone battery anyway. I'm assuming they're all similar. Is 3.7 volts. The two double A's together make 3 volts. And obviously a 9 volt. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for your views, your comments, your likes, and your support. Uh, if you like this one, I'm going to show you another unique, unique way to make fire in the next video. So we'll see you in that one.